Hey, Simon here and today it's all about DLCs because I could not find any complete guide how to handle DLCs with Godot, so I would like to create it. Let me show what we have. We have uh, an exported project here as an Excel and then we have a DLC folder and inside the DLC folder we have four different DLCs. Uh, the game reacts dynamically to those and when I start the game we see that we have four different buttons here and all of those are dynamically created depending on what DLC is available and we have a background image and this weird corgi thing, uh, <laughs> string scene and when we now uh, remember we saw the sheep as a, as a background image when I delete the sheep DLC I start the game, now there's a kitty suddenly and also the sheep button is missing because the game only reacts to the available DLCs. Of course we can now delete the kitty DLC as well, start the game and then uh, we see the little piggies, we have less buttons here, we can click the buttons of course and when we delete the Kogel DLC whoop, then we will see two things happening. First uh, the cookie button is uh, gone and also this weird scene with the string, it was an instant scene, uh, it's just a test and it's now gone as well because it was Kogi DLC stuff and of course we can now also delete the default DLC, I mean there should be always something but at least the game is not crashing, now it's just empty but it's at least not crashing. So this is our goal. I will explain this in several videos, so feel free to jump to different videos depending on what interests you the most. Look at the comments please, because I'm sure there will be interesting uh, yeah, comments from people who have better ideas or maybe already improved system, but unfortunately nobody um, ever created a complete guide about these things. Also check the video description for useful links. Here is for example uh, my uh, GitHub link, you will find it in the video description where you can download the whole project because I will not um, I will not uh, uh, recode it here from scratch, I will just show you everything and then you can look at the code by yourself. And uh, by the way, just a little overview here, this is the, the project for Godot, it's also very, very simple, basically you have the DLC folder, here the subfolders and um, yeah, uh, all the content is in there, like for example the Corgi has uh, resources and then the Corgi scene, the Corgi scene is with the, with the string which is rotating. So um, yeah, the, the rough overview would be that we look at how to set up the, the export options, like here all the setup stuff. Um, I will show you how to uh, export stuff with command line. Um, then we will also look at the DLC manager, which is here, which is responsible for loading uh, the whole DLC content and managing it so that the game does not crash. I will explain a lot of pitfalls and, and issues. Uh, during these videos uh, because it's very easy to <laughs> make the game crash and um, yeah so I hope at the end of this you will find a useful system again you can download it and make it your own or improve it and if you improve it or if you have experience please uh, write into the comments because it would be really nice to make yeah, a big documentation the um, video description will also here is a little uh, overview about the links are already gathered. All these links are all questions from people, oh, how do I do a DLC system or sometimes someone is uh, answering but it's usually only a very small part of a whole system. They then for example just link to this Godot, uh, uh, um, Godot um, example here where, where it explains how to load in uh, pack files or zip files but this is just one tiny step you need for making a whole system which for example dynamically uh, recognizes the DLCs and then loads them in and so on and so on. So um, yeah, I hope you will find this useful. See you in the other videos.